So, we will continue with uh, solving our equation for the steady state. So, you remember this is the equation that we came to which is if we term if we now write it in terms of uh, liquid. So, this becomes del C L over del T with respect to interface reference frame is equal to d L which is the diffusivity in the liquid del 2 by times del 2 C L by del x square plus V del C L over del x. And there were two, two conditions where uh, there is steady state and when there is transient when uh, depending on whether this is 0 or not. So, we are assuming that this is 0 for the first case where it is uh, steady state. So, for the steady state uh, not assuming steady state implies that this is equal to 0 and therefore, we are left with this equation which is Now, this is a very standard equation in differential equation and there is a very standard solution for this. So, we uh, will write what is the standard solution for this standard solution is of the form C L. So, uh, the equation the solution for this will be C L as a function of x. So, C L is equal to alpha times E x p which is exponential beta x plus gamma. So, this is a standard solution for equations of this form where alpha, beta and gamma are some constant values. We can find out those values by putting in the boundary conditions. We know already some of the boundary conditions we have seen that C L is equal to C naught at uh, very large distances which means at x equal to infinity. So, at x equal to infinity C L is equal to C naught at x equal to 0 C L is equal to C naught by k. Uh, Let us uh, take double differential uh, differential of uh, this differentiate, differentiate this with respect to x and then uh, double differentiate it with respect to x and put it back into that equation. So, we will be able to get something out of it. Let us see what do we get. So, first differentiating with respect to x we get beta will come out beta l times alpha times e x p beta x gamma is not a function of x. So, it uh, when you differentiate it it becomes 0. Now, when you take second differential del 2 C L by del x square this becomes beta square alpha e x p beta x. So, this is uh, the diff second differentiation now, let us put this back into that equation. So, d L times this plus V times this is equal to 0. So, we will get d L beta square E x p beta x plus V beta alpha E x p beta x equal to 0. Now, assuming that E x p of beta x is not 0, we can cancel that out and what we will be left with is this. So, we have obtained one constant value of one constant for this equation. Now, let us try to find the other constants and for that we will although I am erasing this, but remember what are the boundary conditions because we will need these boundary conditions to solve or uh, to obtain the other constants. So, our C L now becomes alpha we have not yet obtained gamma. So, gamma is still there alpha is still there and we have obtained beta. So, we have put that beta into over here. Now, like we said we will put the boundary conditions boundary conditions just let me write it uh, in a small note over here C L equal to C naught at x equal to infinity and C L equal to C naught by k 
at x equal to 0. So, you put this uh, x equal to 0 and what you get is C L equal to uh, alpha plus gamma, because when you put x equal to 0 this whole thing becomes 1. So, this is alpha plus gamma and this is equal to C naught sorry uh, this is equal to C naught by k and therefore, you can say that alpha is equal to C naught by k minus okay, I have missed one step over here which is when you put uh, x equal to infinity over here. So, if you put this one what you will get is C naught equal to gamma. Now, when you put x equal to infinity this term goes to 0 this term becomes C naught. So, C naught is equal to gamma in the second one which is this one when you put x equal to 0 you get C L equal to alpha plus gamma equal to C naught by k and therefore, alpha is equal to C naught by k minus gamma, but from here we know that uh, gamma is equal to C naught therefore, we can say alpha is equal to C naught by k minus C naught. So, now we have obtained uh, alpha, beta, gamma all the three constant values. Now, we are in a position to write the equation C L in terms of the known parameters and you would see that it comes out to something like this. So, for the condition of uh, no solid diffusion with limited liquid diffusion and in the steady state we have obtained the concentration profile of the liquid. So, if you were to look at uh, what we are talking about let us again draw this plot we had this C naught and somewhere the solid is forming and since the solid is, is it is in the steady state where we said that the crystal is so long that the con solid concentration is also equal to C naught. So, this is the concentration of solid over here some over here we do not know it is a transient state. So, somewhere over here it has reached steady state and at this point this is the concentration of liquid. So, this beyond this this is the liquid concentration like this and what is the maximum what is this con concentration of the liquid here which is our x equal to 0 this is what we said is C naught by k this is C naught and at x equal to infinity you can see. So, if I want to draw it in a way let us draw liquid in blue. So, this is the liquid part and let us draw the solid in the red part and here I have left it open because this is a transient state for which we have not yet talked about. So, somewhere it reached a steady state from where on the solid has a concentration C naught and at the point where the solidification is taking place just at that point the liquid concentration is C naught by k to begin with that is at x equal to 0 and at very far distances it is again C naught. So, we are describing this equation is describing the concentration profile of this liquid. So, this is what we have obtained yet so far. So, this is the steady state condition. Now, what is the non steady state condition and what do we obtain over there? let us look at it. So, non steady state or transient state how is it different from the steady state simply because del C L over del T is not equal to 0. So, this value is still finite and it exists in the equation. So, this becomes del C your uh, diffusion equation becomes D del C over del T times d l that is the whole uh, all the terms are there in this particular equation we cannot cancel out any of these terms. Now, the again if you want to solve this it is a very difficult condition because if we were to draw it then this is how it would look like this is our C naught 
and somewhere over here the liquid uh, the solid that forms it starts with C naught by k, but beyond that we do not know just because I know I will just draw it like this it will somewhere like this. So, this is up to this it is a transient condition somewhere here and at this point let us say there is a liquid it will have a concentration. So, if the concentration of the solid is C S 1 this will be corresponding C L 1 which you can obtain from the phase diagram and again the liquid concentration would be something like this. Now, you see this whole thing what will happen to the solid concentration solid concentration will slowly reach C naught and therefore, this whole profile this concentration of liquid at the x equal to 0 all of those will change and that is why we say it is a transient state. And since uh, what is the concentration as a liquid is not so important we have we were looking at liquid concentration uh, because that is the only thing that is changing here what we are more interested in is how the solid concentration is changing and for that people have found solution for very small values of k. So, like I said this problem is not so very tractable we will not try to solve it, but I will give you solution which has been obtained for certain condition which is for very small k values that is when you are talking about slopes which are very very large over there the slopes of the liquid ascent solidus are uh, very large or in fact what we have is the solidus has very large slope and liquidus has very small slope then you will have very small k values and for this it has been shown that the concentration is C s So, note that we are here talking in terms of concentration of the solid because the liquid concentration is not uh, constant it is varying with time overall we do not know the liquid concept we cannot uh, at least from now for now on uh, at this point we are not in a position to uh, define the concentration of liquid. But if you know the concentration of solid of course, you know that at this particular interface because of the equilibrium interface what should have been the liquid concentration. So, uh, although we are not talking in terms of liquid concentration you can still obtain liquid concentration from over here. On the other hand here we are talking only about the liquid concentration because the solid concentration in the steady state is equal to C naught throughout in the steady state only in the steady state region. So, these are the two uh, different conditions steady state and the transient state for the condition of no solid diffusion and limited liquid diffusion. Now, you will see that over here there is this term d L over V ok. This d L over V and over here we have x which is also uh, which is a unit length. So, it means that d L over V must also be uh, must also have unit of length and whenever you have something like this you know that it has some significance. So, what is the significance of d L over V? So, d L over V can be described as characteristics length what is characteristic length? It says that when you move by this distance at every d L over V distance the concentration falls the this concentration C L minus C naught falls by 1 by E. E is the exponent e, e to the power 1. So, as you move in the liquid by this distance d L over V the concentration C L minus C naught falls by a factor 1 over V. So, that is the significance of uh, uh, this value d L over V and uh, as I have already mentioned its uh, unit would be equal to that of length because 
we are dividing x by this quantity dl over v. So, now we have covered three different conditions for solidification one was the equilibrium next was the solid no solid diffusion, but complete homogenization in liquid and this third one was no solid diffusion and uh, limited liquid diffusion. So, now we will move on to a even you can say uh, more stringent condition or again you can say in, uh, in other words that it is more realistic and that realistic condition is that we will have some amount of convection in the liquid. So, now there is not only diffusion in diffusion what you are saying is that the liquid is uh, not being stirred or it is not being moved by any other means and the liquid is standing still whatever concentration variation is taking place it is taking place because of concentration gradient and because of diffusion. But now we will talk about a more realistic condition which is mixed mode usually called as mixed mode what it means is no solid diffusion like always and there is uh, some amount of convection in liquid. So, that is why it is mixed because it is in between complete homogenization and only liquid diffusion uh, dominated concentration gradient. So, there is you are saying that it is not completely mixed, but it is not even being left alone. So, there is no solid diffusion and uh, convection in liquid. And uh, before I move on there is one thing that I forgot to mention regarding the previous condition. So, let me just that is just one plot that we that you should be aware of when we are talking about uh, this particular case. So, if you look at the overall we just looked at the concentration changes piece wise, but if you are looking at the concentration as a whole this is how it will look like. So, this is this was the region that we were calling as steady state. So, without spending too much time on this part which we have already discussed I will just draw something that you must be aware of this is initial transient for which we have given the solution not derived it. And this is final transient we have not discussed it, but this is uh, it is not of much consequence because there is a very small length of this final transient. Okay, so, I will leave it at that I will not get uh, into more that is all you have to know about that plot. So, we will get back to our mixed mode we are talking about no solid diffusion and convection in liquid. What it does is basically what uh, whenever we say mixed mode what we are saying is that the distance d l over v that we had over way over there that that distance is now being limited to another value or a fixed value because of convection to something as delta. So, now that, uh, that there is a small distance delta at which your concentration falls back to the infinity value. So, whatever is at, uh, at uh, x equal to delta that is the concentration that will remain constant beyond that. So, if you were to draw this uh, particular condition again we are talking the overall concentration is C naught remember and uh, somewhere over here there is a transient and again we need to talk in terms of the steady state. So, over here let us say we are talking here this is the concentration C s corresponding to this there is a C l and because of convection there is only a small distance delta at which it reaches the infinity value. So, beyond this 
So, let us call this infinity concentration as C infinity. It may be C naught for some examples, it, uh, but usually it will be larger than C naught. So, this is the concentration in the liquid that will be maintained beyond this point. So, now you see when you are uh, stirring the liquid, there is some kind of mixing, then what you have done is reduced this zone where there was a lot of diffusion and the diffusion layer was uh, uh, falling up, uh, was extending to a very good extent, you have reduced that to a very small distance delta. So, that is what you have done and this is the steady state concentration of solid. So, it will remain like this throughout and this is how the plot for, uh, the concentration plot will look like in this condition. So, this is what I mean when I say d l over v has been limited to delta. So, uh, more appropriate would be that the total diffusion length has been limited to delta, but uh, in effect we can also say that d l over v has been limited to delta and that is because some convection is present in liquid. So, these are two important uh, facts that you need to know. Of course, uh, other than that uh, you must not forget that there is no solid diffusion like always. See the more realistic we are talking about, we have to be strict about the solid diffusion because solid diffusion is a very, very slow phenomena and for any casting of significant size, the solid uh, diffusion would be slow, so slow that it cannot homogenize. So, no solid diffusion is a much uh, better condition to assume. So, these are some of the facts that will be related or that are associated with this particular condition. Now, when we are talking about uh, C s over C l, this C s over C l, if we call let us call this C s as a star, because these are the steady state values. So, what we will do is we we'll represent these by star values and uh, anyhow all the C s by C l is equal to k, which implies C s star by C l star is also equal to k. Now, when we are talking about uh, the mixed mode, there is another term which becomes very useful and that is called k effective and that is given by C s star by C infinity, meaning what is the partition or what is the partition of solute in the solid with respect to liquid at infinity. Now, in most cases this will become your C naught, but uh, let us not assume that and let us say this is some concentration at infinity. So, this is saying whatever is the solid that is formed, average amount of solid that is being formed, what is its uh, partition with respect to the liquid at infinity or the overall alloy composition and this is termed as K effective. Now, we will use this to get to first we will try to uh, get the equation for the concentration change in the liquid part for this and then we will uh, use it to define or relate k effective with k for this kind of condition and then we will even extend it to uh, other conditions as you will see very soon. Again our equation uh, remains same which is d l del 2 C l by del x square plus v del C l over del x equal to 0. So, this is our starting equation and again we said that we are talking about steady state, you remember C s star and C l star. Uh, so, let me write it somewhere that these two C s star and C l star represent steady state values, meaning they are constant. So, C s star and C l star we are using as uh, as values which remain constant. Now, with that let us uh, move on 
what is the boundary condition that we have over here? We know that at x equal to delta, what should be the value? This is your x equal to 0, remember? So, this is x equal to delta. At x equal to delta, what is the concentration of Cl? It is Cl equal to C infinity. At x equal to 0, what is the value of uh, concentration of liquid? It is equal to C L star equal to C X star by K. So, this is uh, the, the boundary condition that we have and if you look at the boundary condition, then C L as a function of X uh, using these boundary conditions again you can find a very uh, straightforward solution for this kind of cases and it will come out to here you can clearly see that if you put x equal to delta this will become 0 and then e to the power 0 is equal to 1 therefore, C L x is equal to C infinity. So, at uh, x equal to delta meaning at this particular point the concentration of liquid comes out equal to C infinity which is what we said. So, this equation you must also realize is only valid for uh, distance between x equal to 0 to delta you cannot use it beyond x equal to delta because the, uh, because beyond that the variation is constant. So, we are not trying to derive the equation for this. So, keep that in mind that this is valid for x greater than equal to 0 to less than equal to delta, which implies that our equation is uh, in the right form. Next what we will do is for the x equal to 0 condition, when we put the x equal to 0 condition, we will be able to put C L equal to C L star and hence we will be able to obtain a relation you would see between k and k effective for this kind of uh, situation. So, we will get back to this in the next lecture. Thank you.